Hi guys, I want to show you how you can um, explore the amazing opportunity to download and activate fonts that Adobe has in their system. So the way to do that is to click on either the Adobe Creative Cloud icon on the bottom, which is the cloud, or if you go up here to this cloud here, that will take you to your Adobe Creative Cloud um, bank, okay? So if you look down on the left-hand side, do you see where it says Manage Fonts? If you click on Manage Fonts and you go to Browse More Fonts, it brings up a whole website where you can choose thousands of fonts and it's a great opportunity for you guys to explore fonts and activate them on your computer so you can use them with your designs. So uh, here, for instance, you could click on um, Art Deco. Let's see what they have for Art Deco. Here are all these interesting Art Deco fonts. We clicked on that. And um, you can change what the sample text is going to be. So you could write, um, perhaps, say you wanted to say your name, my name here. And then you can make your text size bigger. So you can really see how the font behaves. And if you wanted to activate the font, um, you can just click activate font or activate all four of the fonts. Um, so I'm probably not going to activate this font actually right now. Although, why not? I'll activate it. So I'm going to click on activate. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to activate it. But for the um, assignment we're working on, I want to look for a font called, I think it's called Europa. Let's see if we can find that. There we go. Europa is the font that I'm recommending you guys try and download and use for your Swisted poster project, OK? Um, so let's go back here to our fonts. And here, it gives you uh, an example of how Europa looks. Again, you can change your text if you wanted to, um, to anything you wanted. You could change your text size. You can really see how those letters behave. And here, they give you examples of the font, how it looks in different widths and thicknesses, okay? Bold, thin. So, and then down here, they give you the information about the type designer, okay? And then if you clicked on this, you could see more of his work or his foundry page, okay? So I have activated it by clicking on this blue button, okay? And that means now that when I go back into InDesign and I write the name of my, my band, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to look for you, Europa. I'm gonna click on, I think I'm gonna go for Europa regular. So there we have, that's how we, that's how we activated the font. So remember, you go up to your, your cloud icon and you click browse more fonts and you guys can spend some time browsing fonts and really look at some fonts that you like and you can upload them and activate them on your computer, okay? And remember, we have all different kinds of fonts here. And as we've been learning, we have like clean fonts, which these are by nature, they are sans serif fonts, and this is the one that we activated, okay? So get started with that and have some fun with